morning friends um, in my car today just waiting for my pupil I thought I'd tell you a funny story that happened to me once when I went up to the test centre with a pupil for her test so she goes down to the car with the examiner and she had to answer one of the questions where it involves opening up the car bonnet so she opens up the car bonnet I know nothing of what is going on because I'm upstairs in the office and the examiner comes back upstairs and says uh, to me what's that under your bonnet you've got a problem and I said have I so I go downstairs with him and under my bonnet he points and says what's that and I say it's a cat he said well, what's it doing under there and I said well I don't know I don't even own a cat and the poor little thing is fast asleep we look at it and we decide okay you better lift it out so I pick it up as it doesn't have a collar I've no idea whether, whether it lives nearby or how long it's been underneath my bonnet in fact my pupil had actually stalled once on the way to the test so that, that, that obviously hadn't even woken up the cat then so my pupil goes off to tests and I phone a local cat welfare company who say oh we're far too busy we can't come out and get the cat so I sit up at the test centre with a cat on my lap various people come down from offices and start stroking the cat one lady even comes down with some cat treats and we feed the cat these cat treats the cat is seems quite old and is very very thin and quite dirty um, anyway my pupil comes back unfortunately she hasn't passed her test I then get her to sit in the passenger seat, hold the cat on her lap and we drive up to our local vets who scans the cat um, and we discover the cat is 17 years old, doesn't even live in the town we're in um, and they manage to contact the lady who is very, very grateful. Her cat has been missing for two weeks and um, I think the town is about 10 miles away or something from where she actually lives. Um, but nice happy ending because she gets the cat and a couple of weeks later I get a phone call from the test centre saying would I please go down there's something at the test centre for me and this lovely lady has thanked me with a bunch of flowers and a thank you card saying that she'd been worried to death where her cat was and you know basically all, all's well that ends well so that's a funny little story of something in the day of a driving instructor have a good day everyone bye